So, welcome to Kermode Uncut on this lovely sunny day. And I've finally taken time to make good on a promise I made a very, very long time ago. A while ago, I was given a theremin. And I said, I'm going to bring the theremin out and play it on Kermode Uncut. I kept forgetting to do it. Things got in the way. I spent a long time trying to learn the instrument. I wasn't getting very far with it. Because I have this whole thing about learning a new instrument every year. And recently, I was on Radio 5 talking about it. And everyone said, yeah, yeah, let's hear the theremin. So, I've decided to make good on that promise and bring the theremin, perhaps the greatest instrument ever invented, onto Kermode Uncut. A little bit of background. I've programmed a film festival at the Llama Tree coming up this summer, and one of the movies that we're showing at it is Forbidden Planet, which is great. Forbidden Planet's got a really sort of great, strange, electronic sci-fi score. And that made me think about The Day the Earth Stood Still, which I'm sure you know this, very famous score by Bernard Herrmann, which features dueling theremins, two theremins playing a tune together at the same time. And it became essentially the sound of science fiction. A particular time, 1950s, if anyone said science fiction, they said space, satellites, that kind of stuff. The sound that they heard was the sound of the theremin. Now, the theremin was invented by Mr. Theremin. And the reason he invented it was because he believed it would be an instrument that anybody could play because it had no notes. It turned out that having no notes meant that it was an instrument that almost no one on earth could play. And to this day, the number of successful theremin players in the world is very, very small. However, I have with me my theremin and my little amplifier to demonstrate to you why it is that the sound of flying saucers will always be the sound of theremins. Let's turn it on. Almost immediately, we hear the distinctively science fiction sound of the theremin. Now, the way the theremin works is you move your hand nearer and further away from the aerial here, which adjusts the pitch of the note. Here's a demonstration. Not very good, you think. But here's what it sounds like when you want to do a 50s science fiction film. Oh, look up into the sky. There are some flying saucers. They must have Martians in them. I wonder if they have brain controlling abilities. Oh, I can feel my brain melting. Let's escape. Now, there's a moment for a romantic interlude. But now, here come a whole army of extraterrestrials. They're doing really mad, crazy things. Their brains are starting to explode. And oh my God. It's all over. You see, no instrument says you're in outer space more than a small cigar box with a radio aerial stuck to it.